It's an episode that offers a depressing insight into the UK's housing crisis. This torrent of water was caused by a burst pipe at a block of social housing in South London. Apparently they came and fixed the water last night. A building barely five years old, rendered uninhabitable. Yeah, this is uh, the room that uh, my family live in. Elvis and his family are one of 20 affected, now in a hotel, but it doesn't come close to meeting their needs. He has a severely disabled son who's had to move to specialist care. I feel so bad and it's unfair. And uh, I don't want to uh, believe that uh, it's, uh, it's uh, discriminatory because uh, it's not fair. You don't so, want to believe that, but does it feel discriminatory? Yeah, yeah but they are making me to, to suspect that uh, it's a, a pure punishment and then discriminatory. And it's not the first time the building's had problems. Just look at this. Mushrooms growing on the ceiling, black mould on the walls. Elvis is among those who say they've complained before to the association in charge, Southern Housing. It took them more than three, four days for them to respond for people to come there and then work. So it's like uh, we are there, we've been dumped there, and then nobody seemed to care about us. Southern Housing said they're in touch with Elvis to understand his concerns, but it's clear his aren't the only concerns. This building was completed in 2017, so it really shouldn't be having these problems. And for some, this is just symptomatic of the UK's housing crisis which is about not just the quantity of homes, but the quality of them too. You can see it's completely rotten. This housing campaigner accuses developers of cutting corners. The materials just simply aren't good enough, especially for the people living in there, yet they're charging rent and want to maximise, I guess, their income. But it's at the expense of tenants' health and safety. That is what I'm seeing. It's tenants' health and safety. Six years on from Grenfell, that isn't good enough. It should not be happening. Despite having staff on site, Southern Housing said they were unavailable for an interview. Do you think this kind of thing is acceptable? I, you'd have to speak to the comms team. Sorry. But you're Sorry. here now, why can't I speak to you? But said in a statement, this isn't an issue with the standard of the development. It's a single component mechanical failure of a part that was six years old. Our contractors will continue working over the weekend in order to get residents back to their homes as quickly as possible. We're a not-for-profit organisation and we're investing millions of pounds in the safety of our buildings. Residents, though, may disagree. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.